Hey everybody, welcome to Brickworks, my name is Mike and welcome to our weekly top 10 mocks video. I'm usually choosing top 10 mocks that I like throughout the week from my least favorite to most favorite one and this week is really heavy on huge displays and buildings. So without too much more talking, let's get into it. And as with every of our mocks video guys, you can find the links to all those cool creations below and also if you want to submit your mocks, please follow the rules in the description as well and use that email. And slowly starting with number 10, that is the Lego Kakatu Parrot by Alan Bohr. The build does look quite simple with a lot of stacked white bricks and some brown for the stand for the parrot, but the places that it needs the details the most are done very well. I'm talking first about the claws of the parrot and if you look closely at its head, you can see the great use of brick separators. They are used in an awesome way and they of course move like the actual animal would have its feathers moving. And I can honestly admit that this build made the top 10 list because of the use of those brick separators. This is a great piece, a very useful one for LEGO builders, but never barely really used in LEGO builds. This one is just a great example. Number 9 is going well together with the current very popular theme of a Ninjago movie, that is the junk boat or the black owning boat as the designer Ming Jin calls it, you can also call it the Chinese gondola. We have seen versions of this boat in Lego Ninjago movie sets, there is one in the Ninjago city and also one in the jelly flying subset. But this one is a bit of a bigger scale and much more detailed, it is using a number of pieces to create this very realistic look, especially the net and the um, garage door pieces for this bamboo roof. I think it is scaled very well to the minifig, you can see the angler in the front with his fishing rod and a number of small details that make up for this great scene. There is also a sword used in the back for the steering function. Great mock and I think it would go well with any Ninjago movie display. And because it is me doing the video this week, I cannot include a mech in this week top mocks and this one is called the Steampunk Samurai Iron Man by Kevin Raihal. And this one is kind of unique because I don't think I have seen any form of Iron Man with some Far Eastern touch to it yet. And this one is even more because it's all steampunk. I especially love the use of ice cream pieces for the steam coming out of the vents of the engines in the back. And the general color combination is quite amusing as well with the use of golden and red pieces. The mech of course has high possibility so you can place it in a number of different positions. And the designer even included a small stand or a stack of clear bricks to make it flying. And as I mentioned in the beginning, this week is gonna be heavy in massive displays and this one is the first to join the list, that is the Hong Kun, a massive Chinese lakeside village by Toltomeya. This diorama placed on an irregular base plate is providing the looks for some town or village uh, small homes and uh, some nice pond or a lake with the great build for a curvy bridge. The water foliage is adding a lot of details to the scene and I like the build for the waves with the usage of clear blue and clear transparent bricks. Again, I think this would be a great addition to any Ninjago movie display, not only because of the setting in Far East, but also for the use of techniques that we see that make up for great looking pieces of set. With that in mind, of course, the Ninjago city comes to the top of the head. But let's move from location displays for a second, this one is the Killer Whale by Timofey Tkachev. And not only this is an impressive display of motion, but also a wonderful build for a very majestic animal. The first thing that catches the eye is of course the pose with the use of some splashes of water using the clear bricks. And I am honestly really wondering how the designer managed to create this pose without the use of any support around the head of the whale. If none of this is Photoshop and just actual LEGO engineering, that is quite impressive. The only moment in life I saw killer whales was in a sea world and I think this one is very close to what the actual beautiful animal looks. Back to buildings, this is the LEGO module station by Mori Mori LEGO. And yes, this is a modular, not only being a modular as a whole, but also has three modules to go together, the two side modules and the main station. I think that this build might have been inspired by the uh, creator town hall. Uh, well, the color combination is pretty much the same, but this is much more epic and much more expanded. Some beautiful details for the facade as well as the clock tower. And even though the color combination is not that exciting because of a historical building a grayish color theme, this is still a wonderful looking mock. If only we had the LTD file for this mock and maybe some space in the city, that would be a great addition next to our train tracks. But unfortunately, we have to just look at the pictures and drool over this beautiful build. 
And with number 4 we are keeping the historical building vibe here, this is the Alamo by Jason Hlavenka. The original building located in San Antonio, Texas is drawing a number of tourists every year and I think the builder was really fascinated by that place to create a great mock representing it in its entirety. A lot of effort was put into it, including uh, studying the original drawings and sketches for the building along with some pictures of the actual location by the designer and it all can be visible in the amount of details that was put into this mock. Not only the building looks great but also some clever techniques were used and all of those special ones were showcased by the builder in a special series of photographs. So even simple points of interest in the building like the windows are created using some very very unique techniques. Be sure to visit the designer's Flickr page for detailed pictures of the progress and all those special techniques in much more detail. Alright and moving into the top 3 we are hitting it with a fast car, that is the 911 Porsche Targa by no one else but the Arvo brothers. If you do not know who that is, those are the guys behind one of the best Xenomorph builds ever created with a beautifully printed manual that they sell. And along the way they also had some really cool mocks, but this one is the newest addition. Their main goal was to reinvent the way the LEGO cars are built and I think this Porsche shows that they achieved their result with great effect. This is not their first Porsche around because the first one was created about 8 years ago but this one is finally coming with a full set of great looking instructions. And of course as expected this is a high quality model, every single door and hatch is opening as in the real thing. And to be honest with you guys, the more I look at that model it more looks like uh, one of those die cast metal models that you can buy for a lot of money than any LEGO car I've seen so far. That must be because of the studless build of course, but also for the perfectly captured curves and shapes of this beautiful vehicle. Of course, if you have not already, be sure to check out the Arvo Brothers Flickr page to see their previous creations. And the spots number 2 and number 1 for this week are moving us into the uh, fantasy lore, some RPG maybe. Number 2 is Burns Hall from Lord of the Rings by Dunedain98. This is a quite known location from the Hobbit books which Thorin and his company along with the Gandalf visit throughout the book as they seek aid of Burn, a shape changer that lives at the border of Mirkwood. The cool thing about this build is that it is using the light brick to illuminate this bonfire in the middle of the hall, but of course that is not the main point because the whole scale of it is just simply amazing. I'm not sure how many pieces of foliage uh, the designer used for this one and also uh, how many pieces of tan bricks to create the roof were used, but we can easily count in hundreds if not thousands. The build must have also required a lot of patience because a lot of these uh, points of the build are using very small pieces to create a uh, custom color combinations for every single wall and I think the result is so astonishing that it was well worth it. Dunedain is quite experienced in massive scale mocks so be sure to check out his Flickr page for some more awesomeness. And as I said being in the fantasy lore we move into number one and that is something totally RPG, that is the mystery of Mariner's Manor, a D&D display piece by Galactech. And the first thing about it is that it's so unique because it is a vertical display that means we have levels or layers of the build and as we move from the start point where we have our game master and our players playing actual D&D game we move below towards the caves and levels and the rooms filled with monsters they have to fight. Of course a treasure awaits at the end but again the modularity of this build and the layer structure just make it for one of the best mocks I've seen in this type. Another very cool aspect of this build is that every room is being built as we speak, that means we have some uh, funny looking workers that look out of place, I mean just some carpenters and people painting the caves as the story progresses. And I think there is a great humorous aspect for such an important journey in the Dungeons and Dragons world and adds a lot to already a very unique creation. I think even that this mock looks like something that would be turned into maybe a board game, you would just have to think about the mechanics of playing in such a display piece, but I think with a good game master that is very well you know, experienced in D&D that would actually make up for a great uh, RPG game. To sum up, I would call it the ultimate 2D slash 3D Dungeons and Dragons LEGO display. Alright and those were the top 10 mocks for this week guys and now it is the time to show off your creations that you have sent to our fan mocks email. Keep sending them, we love seeing your mocks and remember also to follow the rules, 5 pictures per mock, try to include your name with the file names that makes things easier and also try to use the best lighting and camera you have at your disposal. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and here are your mocks for this week.